What have I got left in my collection? Oh my goodness, I did a huge clear out of my bag collection in 2022. This is 2023 and I'm back. Happy New Year. Let's get into it. <laughs> lovelies and welcome back happy new year to you all and you know what i'm so sorry i haven't been around but i have been unwell i'm currently as we speak sipping on lem sip and i don't know if you can hear i'm quite clogged up and i've had aches and pains and the sniffles and other health issues i had a beautiful christmas i hope you did too i spent my whole christmas with my family and i was cooking and cleaning and doing all the usual and trying to spend as much time with my teenagers as is possible that you can with teenagers you know yourself so I wish you all a happy, healthy and peaceful 2023 and thank you so much for sticking around because I know it's annoying when you're used to two uploads a week and then all, all of a sudden you're gone. But I think life gets in the way and I think it's important that, you know, it's not always perfect and sometimes you just have to take a break. But I'm back and I'm delighted to be back because I really actually miss talking to you guys. Welcome back. So let me know in the comments below what you did for Christmas, how you got on and Santa Claus came. Without further ado, I want to give my shout out, my first shout out of 2023 to Cara K. Hi Cara K, how are you love? Mwah! You're always commenting down below and I hope you had a lovely Christmas and a year. And the fragrance of today is none other than Ombre Nuit. I wanted to start off as, I mean to go on, warm. Oh, sorry, excuse me sniffles, that's not very nice. Warm, woody, spicy, beautiful powder enveloping and just that cozy cozy feeling as I'm wearing a little cozy jumper today and I'm feeling all snug as a bug in a rug and by the way after this video I'm doing some decluttering so I've got a little bit more energy today than I've had in the past week or two so I'm doing some decluttering and I'm going to film it and I'm going to do a video on decluttering going into 2023 to make your life easier and your headspace clear and just all around life just a little bit more gentle on us all because that's what we all need. Now, what have I got left in my collection? You can see some beauties here behind me, but not all because that would ruin the surprise. And I'm gonna go from most used bag down to least used because I think that is really, really important and useful to you guys if you're thinking of buying any of these bags or cur curating your collection. I have gone in the last year and a half to two years from 37 bags down to 20. And I'm thinking about getting rid of five more. <laughs> Yeah, I told you, I stick to my word on that one. So let's go. Without further ado, the first bag that I think I got most use out of in 2022, you may be surprised. There may be some of you go, geez, Viv, didn't know that. And others you go, yeah, not surprised. You're always banging on about that one, Viv, you know? So the first one is none other than, would you believe it? Would you believe it? Out of all the luxury bags I have, this bag in 2022, I took her to Greece, I took her to Marbella. She's just so lightweight. She's just so useful. She's crossbody. the strap is inside in her there. She's not that expensive, she's about 750 euro relatively compared to all the rest of my bags and you know you can wipe her off I think I told you on one of my last videos that I got some lipstick lip gloss on her and I wiped it off with a damp cloth came off perfectly and I just love this bag she went perfectly with all my white outfits that as you would wear on holidays in warm sunny climes and I just found her amazing I'll definitely be using her again next year and to anybody that thinks this one is either too small because of the crossbody strap she is just amazing and I love that I love to be hands-free particularly in a, on a warm sunny day if you do touristy things you know you want your hands free to take pictures stuff like that this is the bag for you run out and grab her if you can get her in the sales I'm not sure if she's in the sales but that is definitely definitely one of my best buys and particularly if you're in a warm climate my second most used bag of 2022 is none other than this beauty would you believe it I've just put cream on my hands now. That's not a great idea, is it, Fev? No! She was, she again came to, I did not bring her, did I bring her to Greece? I must have brought her to Greece because I went from Greece to Portugal. I did, but I didn't use her in Greece because I was on my own, I used the other one. But I used this little beauty in Marbella with my mother, my son, and my daughter. And I have to say, because in Marbella, it's a little bit more dressy, but you can dress this one down. She fits my phone, she fits my lipstick, my cards, and that's all I need, really, literally. So I just found this again for summer colors, whites, baby blues, baby pinks, 
just perfect the perfect little travel buddy and the perfect color and as you all know at this stage if you're new welcome and thank you so much because I know I have a, new, a few new subscribers but my older subscribers would know that this is one of my favorite colors she just is I love neutrals she just goes with everything she's an absolute beauty of a bag and my number two pick for 2022 so it's amazing that sometimes you know you have bags for longer but you just go and reach for one particular one just all the time just shouts your name goes Viv pick me pick me Number three, my Chanel 19. Now I picked the black one, even though a lot of you know I have the caramel one as well. Always, always, always remember your lifestyle, what you will be using the bag for, how you will use it. Will you use it casually? Are you more of a going out person? Are you more of a day person? Do you need it for work? I've done those videos before, check them out. And this one, because in Ireland it rains a lot, I just thought, oh my God, and this bag has done me so, so proud. It really has. I adore it. I, please God, will have it in, look, receipts and a bit of a mess in there now. I should have tidied her up, shouldn't I? Yeah, tidy your bag before you do a video, Viv, you know? I'm lucky to be doing a bloody video today. <laughs> <laughs> so that's herself in third place and to anybody that thinks that this bag isn't a workhorse I'm telling you she is the strap the whole lot people some people say it's a bit uncomfortable I love her she's amazing she holds a lot she's comfortable and I find her quite lightweight to be very honest now of course in a close fourth place it was always going to be her sister here in the caramel but because I picked the mini square as my second this one had to go down a little bit because they can't all be up there number one and number two you know you have to be honest and fair you know it's going to be rotation between this one and this one to be very honest because they serve the same kind of purpose just that this one I suppose is smaller and lighter and all the rest of it so love 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 this bag and yeah she was very very special as you all would know those of you that are here a long time I just love this color and again I don't know there's just something about that color she's warm she's cozy she goes with white she goes with blue she goes with black she goes with every color so I just love the Chanel 19 and I can't rave enough about the bag because some people thought it was just going to be a bit of a fad come in come out but any of the girls on here I know Fashion B Amy loves hers Things Just We Lou has one loads of the girls have them and they're just absolutely a real good bag I have to say now in at number five it's none other than my little baby Birkin 25. Now, I have gone to a few beautiful dinners this year for my son's 18th and for my own birthday in November. You know, I just bring her for, if I'm popping into town for an hour, she comes in with me. I mean, I wouldn't carry her around all day, but I told you before I drive a lot in my car. So I just take the opportunity to take her out. She's just so easy to use inside. Like, as you can see, she's kind of like the Chloe Woody tote, that just ease of use dip in, dip out, grab your stuff, go. And I just find her amazing. I love smelling this bag. <laughs> Pathetic, I know. She is my pride and joy. I will definitely, definitely say that. I adore her. And uh, will I get another? I don't know, I don't think so. I think this one is just perfect for me. I have said before that I may try my luck at getting the Kelly 25 or Kelly 28, I'm not sure yet. But I'm not sure about the mini for me. I don't think that's gonna work for me. But anyway, this one, yes, is in at number five, getting great use out of her, but still want to keep her in really good condition. So I don't wanna use her too much. But because I only got her in February, like I actually can't believe how much I use this bag. I don't know, I, w I wouldn't bring her on holidays by myself, I don't think. You know, I travel a lot by myself. And I just don't think I would because sometimes you don't wanna carry a bag and you wanna leave it back at the hotel. Or you wanna leave it back at where, you know, where your accommodation. And I don't know if I'd be safe. So that's why I like to grab them more easygoing, casual bag that I don't have to worry about. I tend to bring out the Birkin when I'm being a very good girl with uh, my parents for dinner or as I said, my children and there's people around me and I feel a little bit more secure. There's always that kind of in your head as well, but absolutely love the bag and could be happier. Number six is none other than this beauty. Now, this one we've talked about before, durable, versatile, fits a lot. Just bring her out in the rain. She's grand, not a bother. Viv, take your receipts out of your bag. I know, but that's what I love about this bag. Again, carefree, you don't have to worry about her. Convenient, easy. Took the bag, uh, the straps off just for, you know, aesthetic reasons. I do a little bit of work before we come on camera, try and clean up things. Obviously not my receipts, but you know, don't judge me. <laughs> I think I'm high on the drugs that I'm taking. Not those kind of drugs. Oh my. Oh my. 
<laughs> paracetamol, things like that. But anyway, yes, the black vachetta, the treated vachetta. As you know, I sold a good few of my Louis Vuitton bags in 2022, and I'd probably do a video on handbags I sold and why, along with my decluttering. Loads of ideas for this year. We're gonna have lots and lots of fun. And this one I want to hold on to because, again, if I'm going traveling, throw on your back, throw her anywhere, throw her around, doesn't matter about the weather, holds a lot, lightweight, durable. Listen, she's an amazing bag, she just is. And uh, I'm delighted I have her in my collection and I can't see myself letting go of her anytime soon. Even though it might look funny with like an eight year old going around with a backpack, you know? That, that, that could look weird. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Now, in at number seven is something quite similar to her, is the, none other than my little mini Speedy HL. Look at it, little Speedy, she looks so cute. <laughs> I swear to God, there's something wrong today, boing. But this is a little gem of a bag going nowhere anytime soon. Look at the size of her, but she fits my phone. And I put a crossbody strap on her from Dress Up Your Purse. Just love her, love everything about this bag. The size, I love the vachetta, and it's actually, because it's kind of quite vintage now, it is treated, it's it's in excellent, excellent condition, the vachetta here. No watermarks on it, no stain marks on it, but because it's kind of more worn, I don't have to worry about it. And she's just one of those grab and go kind of bags. And that's the kind of girl I am, I'm a grab and go. Now, next up is kind of a, this one now I've been thinking about for a while, I have to say. And because of the way I'm using it. Now, I have put her in at number eight because I have been using it, but not for the reasons you might think. And it's none other than, and it's kind of a shame to be very honest with you because of the price of this bag that I could get other things that would do the very same job. So we're talking about my vanity PM. Is that a disgrace? Let me know, let me know what you think. Or is it quite a good idea? And while I'm not using it, that I just have it displayed on my vanity unit and I have all my products inside and I enjoy her. I enjoy looking at her, I enjoy, but yeah, it's a bit of a pricey bag just to be sitting. I actually don't use her, I don't bring her out because the whole zip around, oh, that kind of thing, you know, I did it before, you know, hold on, I just have to zip my bag when you're in Tesco's, you're in the grocery store, all the rest of it. So yeah, she sits on my vanity looking pretty, but I mean, I could sell this one and just get the actual vanity case. I could do that and that's cheaper. That would probably be a better idea, but it's not something I've done yet, but at least I'm getting some use of her and use out of her and that's how I'm justifying it you know the way we do that we always justify don't we so that's how I'm justifying it but I loved all the detail on this bag when I bought it I still love this bag she's a real cutie she really is look at all the little details the black and the gold and the zip and the buttons and the, everything everything she's a beauty of a bag just a little bit expensive to be sitting on my vanity let's be very honest here next up none other than this classic beauty She's like a fine wine. She's just a beautiful. In at number nine is my Givenchy Antigona in the mini because she's structured. If you like a structured bag, this is the bag for you. If you like a bag that has lots of space in it and carries a lot, this is the bag for you. She is a medium size bag, I would say, compared to my others. I do like a mini and a small, but this one is a medium and that's why I like to kind of have her in my collection to have a little bit of variation because variety is a spice of life. And inside, obviously then she has this, the chunky chunky zipper I love that kind of edgy look yes people have had problems in the past with entering the bag and it's kind of clawing their hands but it's loosened it loosens over time you know so I love this bag Katie loves this bag she definitely is in my rotation she's definitely great for Ireland in the weather that we have she's box leather she's in absolutely beautiful condition she's just one of those good looking bags you know she's just good looking isn't she you know she's Classic, she's timeless, she's just elegant. Yeah, I really like her. But yes, she's funky and she's edgy. She's got she's got a lot going on, this one. She really has. No, I, I swear to God, I think I'm a bit of a schizo, the amount of different accents I come out with sometimes. I just, I don't know where they come from. <laughs> I really don't. And next is my beloved Pochette Matisse. Ah, look at this beauty. Yeah, number 10, I know. Now, after 10, we're getting a bit dodgy. So they were the most like used, and then we're going to the least. So keep an eye on the next 10. I'll tell you why, because then there'll be a hint of maybe some in the latter 10 that I might be thinking about letting go. I'd love you to recommend from 10 on which of those I might let go or sell or whatever and which I should keep. Now, number 10 is Miss Beauty here. Not going anywhere anytime soon. Love her beauty, what can I say? Love the, the zip. 
don't use, as she's in number 10, I don't know why I don't use this bag as often. I really, really don't as often as I should. I think it's afraid of the rain. Usually I have a twilly on her in fairness. I don't today just for, you know, showing you purposes, but I just really love this bag. She's in absolute perfect condition. And I love the whole satchel briefcase kind of sentimental vibe of the Pochette Matisse. I really, really do. Something special about that bag. And again, I've said before, I think maybe it could have something to do with how long and how hard it was for me to get that bag. Now, in at number 12, we are starting with another Chanel Mini. And it's the Chanel Mini Square, the quilted one. This is a real good bag. Now, you know I bought this one brand new, but I wanted the, the kind of more aged gold hardware, the more yellow gold one. So I bought this one uh, pre-loved and she is just an absolute beauty because it was very, very hard to get your hands on this dark yellow. And I really, really do like that. Love this bag. She's just a little gem. Carry her on holidays, bring her anywhere, evening, daytime. Just the versatility of this bag. Now she is lambskin, so she's not as durable, but because she's pre-loved, she's a little bit more worn in. So you're not afraid to use her, which I just love. So Missy Moo here is in at number 11. Now following close by is her bigger sister. And that is my Chanel Classic Medium Lambskin. Again, in the more yellow gold hardware. Love it, love it. It's just so rich. I really do love this bag. As you know, I got rid of my jumbo as I wasn't using it. And I wanted to get the medium instead because, you know, I'm at that stage in my life. I don't go out to work. I work here in a studio in my house. My kids have grown up. I don't have to carry bottles and nappies. I don't go to college. I've done that. And I've done all the things where I have to carry laptops and I have to carry this and I have to carry that. So my lifestyle now, and and again, I've said this before, it's all about convenience. It's all about lightweight. It's all about ease. Well, that's what I'm trying to make it anyway. So that's why I want to downsize, declutter, you know, kind of do like the Swedish do. Apparently the Swedes from 50 on, they start decluttering and downsizing. And I think it's such a really great idea. It's just, you know, you know what suits your lifestyle. You've got to a stage where you know what you like, you know what works for you, and you know what doesn't work for you. And that's why this beauty came into my collection. And she's, for me, is she is the classic of classics the medium is I don't know I know that people will say that about the jumbo but for me the medium is and I just love her she's gorgeous and yeah thrilled with her in at number 13 is this little beauty because again I have used her a couple of times going for dinner but not that often I love this one because of the only chevron in my collection also because she was bought in Rue Cambon in Paddy and I'm going to Paris soon actually I cannot wait myself and Katie I'm going to London at the end of January followed by Paris and I'm going to bring you with me there could be a couple of surprises in there you never know you got to keep following so subscribe for that hit the notification bell so you don't miss it out I cannot wait but anyway she was bought in Rue Cambon in Paris and she's a beauty she is in absolute perfect condition because yeah she's not used that much I mean I mean why would I get rid of her she's just so gorgeous she has the inside here we have the Zumoni little organizer that's just for shape more than anything else and this one has the edge stitching around here it's quite special and the edge stitching around here not all of the bags have that as well so she's in at number 13 but just again she's versatile if you know you want to go for dinner you want to go out in the evening you want to go for a walk during the day she's light she's easy to use and that's why she's still there and also because she's just very very beautiful number 14 is Chanel grey top handle. Now I don't have this bag very long as you would know I got her this year, early this year or was it 2021? 2021 I think and I love her. I love the colour of this bag. Actually we're matching today. We're matching. Love the colour. Love this little twilly. People have asked me about this one before. Guys this was just from Amazon. It was just look that uh, it matches. It was just from a different bag, a real cheapy bag actually that I had and uh, I love this little tie that was on it and just matched up. So it just goes to show you don't have to pay a fortune. If you just like the colors, go and put that on. The bag makes it look great anyway. Love the age gold hardware on this too. And she's just a very beautiful bag. And I have my little pink organizer or should I just say more for structure and for storage reasons, I get those ones there. So I love this. She'll be in my collection. She won't be going anywhere because it's the perfect size and I know I will definitely use her winter and summer. That bag is definitely, you know, she'll go with whites, she'll go with blacks. She's versatile. Next up is none other than my Lady Dior Mini, and I just adore this bag. Everybody knows I love this bag, even though I don't use her, but someone's gonna invite me somewhere and I'm gonna bring this bag. So, you know, you have got to be positive. You just have. And uh, she's a beauty, she's a classic. I adore her, I love the charms. 
I do that every time. It's probably really annoying for some people. I love the handles. I just love the size. I love how you get in and out. And she is also stuffed inside, but she's just a classic. She really is. And I don't think you need many Lady Dior's in your collection. One or two is just more than enough. One or two, even if you had one, but she's just a beauty. Uh, number 16, and this beauty will have seen me use before. I have used this bag in the past quite a bit. I'm not using her as much in future, so I was thinking of letting her go out of my collection because if I want to get the Kelly 25, I have to get rid of a couple because that's just the way it is and that's just being sensible. And so if anyone's interested, let me know. She is in great condition. She really is beautiful, beautiful condition. I had her up on vest here, but I got a few low ball kind of offers and I thought, no, I'd rather keep her in my collection now than people messing with me. I'm not gonna let her go for less than what I paid for her. So, well, I got her pre-loved, so that's a, it'd be a good price anyway. Now, in at number 17 is, dun 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 dun, Missy Moo. Now, one of my subscribers has contacted me and I have not wanted to let this bag go. I love her. I just think she's a beauty. I haven't wanted to let her go. But if I'm going to get a Kelly, I may have to let this bag go. And not only because being sensible, but also I'm not using this bag. She's in at number 17. As I said to you, you know, from 10 down to 20, because I have 20 bags behind me. If this one is at number 17 and I'm not using her, why is she in my collection? Like, that's the way I am. I'm like, why is she in my collection? I want to hold on to her. I don't want to have any regrets, but I also want to be practical. I also want to be realistic. I want to travel more. I don't want to worry about my stuff at home, security and maintenance and all the rest of it. And uh, look at her, look, look, look at the, the Chanel. I just, I just absolutely love that Chanel bar at the top. I really, really do. I don't know why I'd, I don't use this bag. Look at the inside of all the little storage and uh, organizers inside to keep her perfect. And she is perfect. But yes, she is a beauty of a bag, a real beauty, a real gem. Look, if anyone makes me proper offer, should we say, look at the retail, look at the secondhand market and see how much they're going for. Or just DM me on Instagram at Vivzer and uh, we'll talk about it because I'm not fully convinced I want to let her go yet. But number 17, do you know? We gotta be realistic about this whole situation, Viv, you know? Now, number 18 is none other than this beauty. And she is my Chanel Vintage in the small. And she has the gold-plated hardware and that beautiful stamp. And this one is from, I think she's from the early 90s and that beautiful flat lambskin that we all love and the yellow gold hardware. She's just a little gem, this one. Now, again, she's number 18. Should I let her go? Possibly. Am I? Not yet. I'm not ready, I'm not ready. But she is beautiful and down the road somewhere, she may find herself on her way out. Let me know what you think I should do. I know a lot of you are interested in this bag, so let me know, but I don't know. Now, number 19 is this beauty. You might remember I bought, I think it was this year I got, I acquired this bag, bought her from Japanese. And she is a Gucci bamboo, and this is 1940 something she is. Just a stunner of the bag, of a bag. Again, so, so beautiful. Just so good looking in the box leather. Really, really good condition. But this is the bigger size, the kind of medium size. I want to hold on to her because I think she's so beautiful. And even Katie's the same. She's like, Mom, hold on to that bag. She's gorgeous. And she is. But again, I'm not using her. Look at the inside. Look at that. Stunning red. And it's quite, it's quite hard. And there's the little, what's that? The little authenticity thing. And um, what else is in here? Just, she's in really, really good condition for a vintage bag, she really is, as they always are from Japan. She's a stunner. I don't know, I'll have to think about this one. Am I gonna just keep her just to look at her? Or will I use her when I'm older? I don't know, I don't know. Look, if I get offered a Kelly, maybe I'll let her go to be realistic, but isn't she just gorgeous? She really is gorgeous. Like. But anyway, last but not least, the number 20, and it's only because she's brand new, and only because I can't wait to use her is my beautiful wicker Dior, medium lady Dior in the wicker, and I just adore this bag. I hope I get lots of wear out of this bag during the summer, and she's so beautifully made, and the feet, 
and Dale and a lot of girls have her in the navy. I just decided to go for the pink. I was gonna go for the navy, and then I said, ah, feck it, I'll go for the pink. Can't wait to use her, hope I never get tired of her, and I hope to be using her a lot this summer. But she's in at number 20, because she's new. I bought her, obviously, after the summer, so I didn't get to use her. That's the only reason she's there. So let me know what you think. Now, there was a couple of bags I didn't include in this, like, and I probably should have, because it's not really a bag. There's a couple of them, my Mila Clutch, and my Fendi Baguette. And I didn't because they're not really handbags, but at the same time, the amount of use I got out of this handbag, handbag, uh, baguette on holidays was unreal because of this small chain. It has a crossbody chain, wherever that is in here. So it goes crossbody and I put my card and my lipstick in there and I go for my walk and it was perfect, absolutely perfect. Would I buy more of them? I don't need more, one is plenty. And I love the uh, print, that jacquard kind of print is beautiful as well. So uh, I just love this little piece, really, really love it. But I said, no, I'm not gonna put it. And you know, you have to cut off somewhere, don't you? You just do. So that's it, my friends, my lovelies. It has been so beautiful talking to you all again. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know down below what you think maybe I, one or two I might help me get rid of because I really want to squeeze it down another little bit because I'm very, very happy. As I said, 37 down to 20. Chuffed with myself for getting and you've all helped me and thank you to all that bought some of my bags and all the rest of them trusted me with that. So listen, till next time, be kind, be safe, be compassionate. We've lots to look forward to in 2023. Mwah.